We have so far seen how we might combine a metal with a non-metal and that resulted in an ionic bond which involved the transfer of electrons. And we also saw how non-metals combine with non-metals um, using covalent bonds and that involved the sharing of electrons. Um, so to complete the picture, we now need to look at how metals combine with metals and this forms a metallic bond and we'll see how metals do that. Now if you were to look at the atom of metal, its structure is such that you have a positive nucleus and surrounded by it some negative electrons. So now I'm just going to represent the positive nucleus with a 1 plus and we'll look at cases where you have this uh, valence electron to be exact. This valence electron is free to move so the metals tend to have either one, two or three electrons in their valence shell. Right? So as an example we can see metals in group one have one electron in their valence shell. Metal in group two have two electrons in the valence shell. Now this valence electron is free to move. So in a metal lattice I'm going to have stationary uh, nuclei. So the nucleus or nuclei, plural, are stationary while the valence electrons are free to move. So I have these stationary metal nuclei with electrons swimming around in them. So sometimes you hear the term that these electrons form a sea of electrons because it's like an ocean, just like how water is free to move in an ocean. These electrons are free to swim about in this uh, metal lattice. So we have a metal lattice and lattice is just a big word to mean a regular arrangement of atoms, in this case the nuclei are all regularly arranged and this sea of electrons produces a smear of negative charges so you have a smear of um, negative background while embedded in it is are these positive uh, ions, positive nuclei. So since the positives attract the negatives, so for example this electron is attracting both of these nuclei and this electron is attracting these three nuclei. So they are all mutually attractive and this creates a really strong electrostatic force um, between them. So you have a strong electrostatic force between the positive nuclei and negative electrons. So that's, that's what a metallic bond looks like. It's just these electrostatic forces between the positive um, ions and the electrons. So this is what we call a metallic bond. So because of this uh, strong metallic bonds and these um, charges being able to flow, we have some interesting properties uh, of, a, um, of a metallic solid. So because of these strong electrostatic forces, these gives rise to my high melting point. And because these charges are free to move, these give rise to the ability to conduct electricity and heat as well. And because these um, electrons are free to move, as I reshape the metal, the electrons are able to flow around the nuclei to um, maintain the bonds in the metal. So this also gives rise to a property called the malleability. 
So atoms are malleable, which means they are easily shaped without breaking apart. So you might imagine a blacksmith um, uh, minting a, a sword. He would just put in a furnace, uh, heat it up until it's soft enough to be hammered down to shape. And when you cool it, you get the shape of a sword. So in the, while he was uh, shaping the metal, it, it didn't break apart. So that, that's what we mean by malleable. And finally, this free to move electrons also gives rise to a property that's unique in metals, which is called ductility. Ductility just means the ability to be pulled into a fine wire. So that's a good thing because um, metals are good conductors, so we like to pull them into fine wires to, to make wires for our home, for computers, um, for all electronic equipment, so they can be pulled into fine wires that can conduct electricity. So this is the type of bond that you would see within any sort of metal. So if you take, for example, a block of magnesium, all the magnesium atoms um, in magnesium are bonded together by this uh, strong electrostatic force of positive nuclei in a sea of electrons. So now I can complete my table of comparison between um, these three types of uh, three, three categories. So in a metallic bond I have positive nuclei in C of electrons.